Good morning, po. It's pa past ten o'clock. The joint hearing on proposed Senate resolution numbers eight twenty six and one 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 four are uh, is here by call to order. <coughs> Lubos tayong nakikiramay at nakikisimpatiya sa mga pamilya ng mga nasawi at nasaktan na magigiting nakawal ng PNP SAF sa mga mga sapano Maguindanao. So may we invite everyone to please rise as we offer a moment of silent prayer for the repose of the souls of our SAF policemen who were slaughtered in that incident in Maguindanao on January 25. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so may we call on the Director General to place on record the uh, presence of our guests, witnesses, and resource persons. And also, please uh, place on record those who have been subpoenaed and yet not present today. Your Honor, may I proceed. Those who are present right now are Attorney Teresita J. Herbosa, Chairperson of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, Attorney Hinares of the BIR is not here, but she is represented by Mr. James Roldan. Uh, Ms. Julia Bakay Abad, OIC of AMBLAC, had been invited, but she sent a letter that she is on official business in Cebu. Also present are Attorney Virgilio Mendez of the National Bureau of Investigation, Attorney Darlene Marie Berberabe, President and CEO of Pagibig, Attorney Wenceslao Avisado, Assistant Secretary, Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council, HADSI, Mr. Rizal Pangilinan, Secretary General of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines, Mr. Elmer Castro, Mr. Gilberto Garcia, Ms. Sara Mendoza, Mr. Mario Oreta, Mr. J. Sangalang, and Mr. Ireneo Sioson. The following, the following have sent excuse letters. Attorney, I mean, Chairperson Maria Gracia Polidotan of COA, uh, Ms. Abad of AMLAC, Mr. Enrique Lagdameo, National Treasurer of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines, uh, Engineer Roberto Robert Henson and Mr. Efren Canlas of Hillmark. They have sent excuse letters that are your previous engagements. Mr. Tomas Lopez, who previously previously sent a letter committing to attend, but now has sent an excuse letter from his lawyer saying that he will not be able to attend. Mr. Roberto Ongpin has been sent an invitation, but they, he sent a letter saying that he is in South America currently. Those are the names, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Director General. And uh, can you please administer the oath to our first-time uh, witnesses? Well, those who are here persons? for the first time, kindly stand and... Those who are here for the first time, kindly stand and raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? Thank you. You may take your seats. So all the rest are testifying under the same oath. Uh, Senator Trillanes, uh we have here present before us uh, Attorney Berberabe of uh, Pagibig. Do, uh, do we have questions uh, for her? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. But uh, before that, uh, since uh, Mr. Tomas Lopez committed the last time that uh, he will attend, and uh, now he gave us a, another letter, so I move that uh, we cite for contempt uh, Mr., uh, Mr. Tomas Lopez. Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, uh, I have no choice but to really grant your motion because uh, he actually misled us in the last uh, meeting of the Mother Committee with a signed letter. So he's not here today. So I will follow procedure and recommend again that uh, Professor Tomas Lopez be cited in contempt for a graver, for a graver act this time. Uh, yes. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, may I inquire about the uh, status about, of uh, Mr. Jerry Limlingan and Mr. Uh, Laureano Gregorio? 
um, Mr. Chairman. Okay, this is the this is the procedure that uh, we have consistently followed. Those who have defied the uh, orders of the subcommittee, including the subpoenas that we have issued, we first give them show cause orders why they should not be cited in contempt. And then if uh, some respond and some do not, but even those who respond, we look at their reasoning uh, and if, we, if uh, they are not merit the grounds that they cite or the arguments that they advance are not meritorious, then we cite them for contempt. We recommend that, recommend that they be cited for contempt. So in the case of Mr. Laure Laureano Gregorio, he, we are now in the show cause order stage together with Mr. Jerry Limlingan. But they are in, a, on, on a, in different uh, situations. Mr. La Laureano Gregorio, we know his place of residence and we have served the subpoena. In the case of Mr. Limlingan, we have served his subpoenas uh, to different addresses. Hence, in one of our hearings, the subcommittee deemed that Mr. Limlingan has received his subpoena. Therefore, he was ordered to show cause why he should not be cited in contempt. So we are at that stage. But before we proceed with uh, your question to uh, Attorney Berberabi, we have here our uh, NBI Director Mendez. Uh, because the subcommittee asked the assistance of the NBI in locating Mr. Jerry Limlingan. And may, may we get your report, uh, Mr. NBI Director Mendez? Uh, good morning, sirs. <clears throat> uh, on uh, October 27, the Bureau received uh, your letter dated October 20, uh, requesting the office to serve the subpoena on the following persons, Jerry Lemlingan Jr., Gerardo, uh, Miss Lichnok, and Irene Chong, Kim Sir Chong, Amy Chong, Iris Chong, Kim Chong, and Erlinda Chong. Now, on the following day, that was October 28, our team was uh, directed to serve the subpoena to the given addresses. And uh, on October 28, in the afternoon at about 4.45, we submitted a return of the service of the subpoena to the office of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee uh, with the information that the persons that was uh, mentioned in the subpoena was not contacted. The details of the service of the subpoena, Your Honor, is mentioned in that report that we have submitted to your office uh, dated October 28th, to be exact, signed by the underside, Your Honor. Thank you, uh, NBI Director. Anyway, that is uh, only for the record because the sub subcommittee already decided that since we have given multiple copies of the subpoena to, uh, for Jerry Limlingan at all his known addresses, the subpoenas have been deemed served. So we have passed that stage already. So he's now, he has now been ordered to uh, show cause why he should not be cited for contempt. So any, any other questions? For the NBI director? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me just uh, uh, inform uh, the NBI director that uh, according to the testimony of Attorney Berberabe, Mr. Jerry Limlingan is uh, a consultant of the HADSI and uh, among other government agencies. So maybe we can monitor the people um, close to uh, Mr. Jerry Limlingan, particularly the Vice President. Uh, I'm sure they, um, they, me they meet uh, regularly or from time to time, so we can uh, better track his movements from there. Uh, just an uh, advice, uh, uh, NBI Director. Thank you. Yes, sir, we'll do that. Uh, Attorney Berberabe, are you a member of the HADSI? Um, the Pag-ibig Fund is a member of the HADSI, so HADSI would have a uh, quarterly meeting 
Uh, you are the representative of Pag-ibig Fund okay. in the HADSI. Yes. HADSI is a council, it's di ba? A council. You are the representative. Council, yes. And you mentioned in the last hearing that Mr. Jerry Limlingan is a consultant of the HADSI. Yes, Your Honor. So how is he able to uh, perform his duties as a consultant if he is always in hiding? Uh, Your Honor, when, you, when this subcommittee requested me to relay also to HADSI to get the contact address, so the HADSI sent to me a response stating uh, the address on record, which I will um, submit uh, later, but uh, also based on information from the HUD-C, there the technical consultancy was from August 2010 to 30 September 2014. So, medyo consistent po dun sa hindi na rin siya nag-appear sa hud and uh, in the meetings. Yes, uh, as far as you know, sino ba nag-testify sa OMNI? Is Jerry Limlingan already now a, uh, in the papers of OMNI, SEC papers of OMNI, uh, a director or an officer? Uh, who knows about this? Uh, because if that is the case, then you, since you still have a contract with OMNI as a consultant, di ba? So you're dealing with a company led by someone who is in, who is in hiding. Uh, Your Honor, I, we have the GIS of uh, Omni, and uh, his name does not appear in the GIS. That's an allegation yes. that he is uh, he's the front of somebody. Okay. So thank you for bringing us the address. Anyway, that's the address uh, appearing on his uh, consultancy contract. Okay, so, NBI, okay, NBI Director, uh, thank you very much for your cooperation. But... Uh, the request for your assistance in locating these people are, is still still there. Okay. Yes, sir. No. Okay. Thank you, NBA director. You, you're you're free, you're free to go. Yes. No, thank you. Thank no. you. Uh, Senator Trillanes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney Berberabe. Uh, up to this time, you're still not aware of uh, the true owners of Omni. You're already being uh, what, what, anong, what, what's the legal term? Uh, judicial notice. Uh, oh, uh, alam na yata ng buong Pilipinas, uh, Attorney Berberabe. Po, uh, uh, Mr. Senator, Your yes. Honor, as I explained po last time, uh, uh, when we dealt with Omni, so we got uh, our team got their papers, and nowhere in the nowhere in their documentation submitted mm -hmm. yes. uh, can we find. So based on. Uh, also, our information from the okay. Senate investigations, uh, it remains an allegation. And because I, I'm also asked if I know, so I, I don't know that. Po, and in fact, uh, I haven't heard of any uh, evidence pointing to it yes, except for the allegation. Um, siguro before, that was uh, understandable. But uh, you mentioned that every four months, you renew the contract. So, ngayon, sinasabihan na kayo na may, uh, sabihin na lang natin, probable conflict of interest because of the owners are uh, alleged to be dummies of the vice president. So, would you still insist on uh, renewing their contract, Attorney Berberabe? Uh, pursuant din po to your uh, recommendation in the last hearing that mm -hmm. uh, Senator Cayetano ask us to confer with the GPPB. So, ginawa po namin yon. Nakipag-usap kami po sa GPPB so that we can uh, confirm on what is the best way uh, to handle the bidding. So, na naunawaan po ng GPPB yung aming sitwasyon on the trust and confidence. And we have, uh, we have uh, agreed that uh, we will renew it on a month-to-month -month and then ibibid I out na po ibibid out na po para ma mawala na lang yung yung uh, appearance of uh, of non bidding or non regular bidding okay uh, th this is actually a uh, a friendly advice to the president of pagibig because uh, it will appear that uh, you 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 will cont uh, you continuously favor the Omni Security Agency as recommended by the Vice President. So, it's time to rectify that situation. Okay? Yes. Now, Your, your, yes. uh, your Honor, um, I have um, agreed po to, uh, 
to talking with the GPPB so that's our next step pero gusto ko rin lang po na uh, ma-reiterate ulit na kung favored at favored lamang po I would like to reiterate the disqualification of Omni in the much bigger contract which is the 193 million so kung yes. corruption po ang uh, ating uh, iniisip uh, saan po kaya ang mas pagkakakitaan kung totoo po na uh, talagang uh, favoritism pero panyera issue. Panyera, if you look at SCRA, kawawa naman yung mga municipal treasurers sa Mindanao, 2,000 pesos, kulong. Your, your contract with Omni is 5.7 in 4 years. So, fair is fair. I mean, kulong yung municipal treasurers. If you remember that case, diba? I mean, kawawa, 2,000 pesos. Graft and corruption, kulong. So, 5.7, pasok pa rin. So, we will, uh, we have... Uh aligned with the GPBB on what is the best but they did recognize po the difficulty of the situation and that uh, we encountered in the determination uh, of the but you mentioned that you, you mentioned that you looked at the GIS of uh, Omni yes. did you find out now that Hyrene Lopez is a director yes. and she's the yes. wife of your pagibig board okay. member Professor Tomas Lopez A after po our hearing uh, because do you confirm it nakita mo nakita ko po ah, nakita so po Hyrene Lopez Uh, and then, ang kanya pong information na ibinigay sa akin is that, uh, yes, but they, they are legally separated and they have a judicial separation of property daw po. So, but uh, I thought that he was also going to attend so that he could shed light in, on it. Yes, but uh, even through cursory examination, uh, you're not privy at first about the, uh, the marital status of uh, this couple it immediately supposed to be it's a ground for uh, disqualification na uh, isn't it uh, attorney berberabe uh, at first po hindi po siya apparent sa amin because it's hyrene lopez mm. uh, so hindi po siya apparent uh, kagaya po ng sinabi ko nalaman lang po namin yung information when we were following also the senate investigations uh, okay alam niyo attorney berberabe uh, maraming nagsasabi na maayos kayo. Pero the way you continuously defend itong uh, si Vice President Binay and yung Omni, eh, napagsususpechahan eh na talagang uh, rubber stamp kayo dyan. But we will get to that you know, um, later on. Mr. Senator, yung, I will defend uh, lang po the truth and I will speak the truth. Yes, pero yung Omni nga, it was uh, shown may nag-testify na na former president ng Omni na sinasabi niya na may-ari nito is si Vice President Binay, hindi pa rin enough sa iyo yan. And it was, um, that testimony was, uh, I think, uh, as early as September. Pero nakapag-renew pa rin sa iyo ng kontrata. So, wala kang pakialam because it was recommended by the Vice President. Now, let me uh, continue. Uh, meron akong hiningi sa inyo mga list of documents, di ba? Yung... Um, Uh, list of uh, what's this? Yung mga security and janitorial services uh, contracts entered by Pag-ibig from year 2010 to present. Uh, were you able to submit all of that? Uh, Mr. Senator, I just got the subpoena duces tecum before this hearing. Po. So, uh, I received a duces tecum uh, last week the documents have been submitted uh, to this subcommittee. So, yung bago po, uh, we just received a while ago. Okay. But uh, you you commit to submit uh, the same, Attorney Berberabe, in the interest of transparency kasi maraming humahanga sa inyo sa UP College of Law. So, we'll have to show that uh, you are uh, uh, at least pag-ibig is the, the paragon of uh, transparency and accountability. Okay. At consistently naman po, ay ako yung yes, nagsasabi uh, na I will submit. Okay. Then, uh, we will just uh, wait for those uh, documents, Attorney Berberabe. So, uh, the one that we subpoenaed last hearing, you're able to submit everything? Opo. Right? Kompleto okay. po. Opo. Kompleto. So, uh, I, uh, I commend uh, Attorney Berberabe for that. And, uh, ito na lang next list of uh, documents antayin po namin we will submit po. ah okay uh, I, i don't have anything else uh, for the pagibi chairman 
Can you wait for a while lang, Attorney Bebe Rabi? Okay, okay. Yes, Mr. How about uh, the SEC is also here, uh, at, uh, the Attorney Herbosa. Uh, you're here pursuant to a subpoena to bring documents, ma'am? Good morning, Your Honors. Uh, actually, it's a subpoena at testificandum. And uh, I don't have yet a list of uh, the documents that you would wish us to submit. And uh, although we're already preparing some that we think are relevant, uh, if I could be given the complete list, we'll be able to submit right away. Yes, ma'am. So um, uh, we'll uh, wait for Senator Cayetano, who may have questions for you. So let's uh, suspend for a few minutes. Hearing suspended. Uh, let's resume. Session resume. Ator for the purpose, we are resuming for the purpose of excusing Attorney Berberabe. Uh, there will be no more questions for you today. So, ma'am, so sa next hearing po. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, let us now uh, uh, suspend for a few minutes.